Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Hello, those subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are new in this channel, you're welcome. Now, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so because from often and then I'll be showing you some little things, some tips on how to make your clothes. Um, I just love what I do and that is why I'm doing it. So, you know, now let's get started. I'm just going to tell you what I am up to. As a matter of fact, I am making uh, a dress and the top is um, like a shirt. Like if you are making men's shirt, I just had the top will be and with the color on it. So this is the pattern actually I drafted. I uh, This is the back I drafted and it, is, it has the dust the down and and this is the uh, the front part and what I just wanted to explain to you on this particular pattern is that uh, I did this pattern I after I draft it I just I drafted the front side apart and I did the placket this is the placket as you can see but uh, the placket you can call it or you call it the facing so, because it's going to have a button on it. So, what I did was that I did this uh, separately. And this pattern just uh, drafted with just the bust measurement. That's how I did it. And then the pattern, the facing was not included. So, what I do, what I did was, so I put the facing. Because you can have a facing that uh, goes with the shirt pattern. Sometimes you do not have that. And if you are drafting yourself, you can always do that yourself. So what I did was, after um, drafting the whole thing, I decided to put the um, facing and to add it to the pattern. So how I did it was that I took my uh, facing pattern and I added it to the middle of the front pattern. And I joined it together and... I have this. So after I it together, I put it in another paper and I just trace it around and I have the facing with the front pattern. The reason I did this is because to save my time because I'm really, really in the rush making this dress for this client. And so in order for me to make it more faster and easy for me, I decided to do it like this. Otherwise, I, I'm going to jump the, the facing into the bodies and that really take your time. So I decided to do it like this. And then afterwards, then I can do some other necessary adjustment. I don't have to sew this again because those are just wasting all the time. Okay, so now let me show you exactly what I did. Let me show you. So this is the this is the back panel. This is the back panel, as you can see, and it has a dart. So the dart has been sewn, and then as I said, it's a top, and there's going to be it's going to be a dress. So there's going to be the upper, the down part. Okay. So this actually, okay, let me show you exactly what I mean. I just remove the pin because I already. Uh, Prepare to sew. Let me just show you guys now. So, so this is what I, I mean. So, this is how the pattern pattern is. This is the the facing that I connected with the body. So now I decided to now close up that uh, facing or sew it into it. So what I did was I add a uh, fusible, as you can see. Always add fusible. I decided to put black visible on it because the um, black corresponds with the with the fabric that I have. Most of the time when I'm working, I work with white or um, or black. But now in this case, really, I decided to use black. Okay. So I uh, instead of sewing the facing into the bodies, I do it like this. So uh, I am my face my uh, fusible on it. The reason I did that because I wanted to add um, buttons, but I decided, you know what, 
I will, I, we will have um, buttons on it, decorative buttons to be on it. Let me show you the buttons I'm going to use. So this is the button we're going to use. Big buttons we're going to use. We're going to put these decorative buttons on it, and we're going to add press buttons. So watch out on that. It's going to be very nice. So that is that. So I just iron the fuse on it, as you can see. And then I fold here like this. As so before, I actually use overlock to overlock all the edges so that it will be very neat. But this this side of the facing of the placket, you can say, I did not do that. The reason is because I'm not going to fold it in. So fold it in, and again you fold it in. So make sure you fold it into the center of the of the pattern you see so this is the center so now with this center i'm going to add uh i will add my buttons here you can see and you make sure when you are working you just uh, make sure you measure your bust measurement so your bust measurement has to correspond before your size has to correspond before you're folding because when you fold this facing and you are a bit short on your bust measurement, then you have a problem. So you make sure that when you fold your face in, then it actually corresponds with the size that you have. So now I'm going to actually, I'm going to pin it together. Make sure you press it nicely and, and it's nice and straight. And then you can just uh, so it is really very simple. So this just doesn't take much time. I just like this. Okay, so you see. So now you sew it after sewing it, then you're just going to cut off the excess. That is like this. You can see it's very simple, and uh, you can add it to the back panel later. So right now we're going to actually uh, I'll go to my sewing machine and sew it, then I will show you guys how it looks like. I will sew this part and also the second part. So let's go now. All right. So let me show you now. I've just sewed the the other panel together. So this side like this. So it looks nice. So now that you have, I have sewn it, this is what I sewn, and then I'm just going to sew here, so I have this decorative stitch here, right? So when I will do that, I will do both of them so that you can see how it really looks like, okay? So let me go now. Alright, so guys, this is it. So I sewn here. And then I add the I sewn here. If you can see, the thread I use is really, really very good. Here you can see it's almost invisible. So that is just like this. So it's really very good. So now um, it looks beautiful. So what you have to do now is to attach it to the bodies. Okay, attach right to the bodies. So let me just attach to the body, then you can see how it looks like, okay? Okay, so this is the second one I did that for. Very nice and beautiful. So, I'm going to do that. Let's So this is the bodies and this is it. So you make sure the shoulder corresponds with the shoulder. Okay? Then we're going to our sewing allowance is about one point five cm. That's exactly what we're going to sew. Exactly what we're sewing. But I don't want to have too much too much fabric in the shoulder. That's that one. And then we're going to okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you are doing that actually you have to do front the front side to the front side. 
So that is what you are doing for now. Just put it together, one side to the front side. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just eyeball it, but if you are not sure how many centimeters you are using or inches, so you just use a tape to measure this about half an inch, something like that. Okay, Okay, so that's it. So when you put it so in the just going to be like this. Be like that. Okay. So put it together. Like this. Okay. So if I can do It looks cute already. <laughs> okay. Now I can see. You can see. <laughs> okay. So see, it looks beautiful. So we're going to sew the we're gonna sew the shoulder to the shoulder and I will show you guys how it looks like, okay? Okay, so I'll be right back. So guys, this is the it looks so I've done the shoulder part together and so it really looks really looks 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 very cute. See? I am so uh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. I put uh, and also what I did was to just mark it where I'm going to put my, my buttons. So I'm going to really yeah, just put it here. So I'm going to fix my buttons here. So this is it. It looks cute, beautiful. So you can see it is very, very um, simple to put your actually put your make your facing very, very beautiful, and it is simple. So it is a kind of um, a nice um, quick method that you can use to do your to do your facing it's all that I, I do for my for me this works for me so for you you might have other ways that you do yours so this is really quick you can put the facing or just add it to your pattern when you are drafting or you draft it apart just add it to it okay so that is it so guys it is I like this method very much so you can go ahead and um, uh, do your method use whatever you use to make your your facing to your dress all right so that is that so i uh, i could say today this is it for today uh, so in the next video we're going to i'm going to show you on how you can easily attach your your collar to your to your to your top so let me just show you that this is a color that we we already prepared last video we did this color and you can see the color is really very beautiful and so now we're going to i'm going to show you a simple way on how to actually attack this attach this uh, color into your the top so now you look at it the neck looks more it's very nice but then when you want to Actually, before you attach your collar, you just uh, leave it like this, and then we're going to uh, do that. Before you do it, just iron your seam open like this. Just iron it very open like this. Okay? And so that is the preparation of attaching the collar. So that is what we're going to do in the next video. So right now, I'm just going to good to leave you guys that is the end of this video and so next uh, video we're going to do that so for now let me say goodbye and i'll see you in the next video so please keep on practicing practicing, practicing. 
Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!